Greetings everybody and good morning from 11 Mile Canyon. I'm here today to film another episode with the Eagles and hopefully we'll see some Osprey today. We could be arriving from their journey down south anytime. Last year I found them, I found their nest and probably late May but by then the babies were already hatched and poking their heads up over the top of the nest so I don't really know what time of year they got here last year the literature all says they arrive in mid-March so I've got hopes that they're here anyway if you all wouldn't mind poking that subscribe button on the lower right hand corner of your screen I would appreciate it. It would really help my channel. And I will get back to you when I find something to take pictures of. Well, I've driven the entire length of the canyon. And I haven't seen any sign of life at all. Not surprising, though. It is bitter cold up here today. I don't know why I do this to myself. It's going to be a nice spring day everywhere else. Been thinking about doing a video on how to find the eagles in the canyon to take pictures of them. And anyway, I haven't quite gotten around to it yet, but maybe this is as good a time as any, since that's exactly what I'm doing at the moment. And this is pretty much how I do it. I get here real early because that's the best time to spot them. And then I drive along the river looking in the tops of the dead trees along the banks of the river because that's where they like to hang out. They like the dead trees because there aren't so many pine needles to deal with. And then they stand there on their perch and they watch the water for fish. And if they think they have a good chance at it, they'll jump out of the tree and swoop down over the water and snatch them out of the water. When I find one, hopefully I'll be going the right direction so I can just stop the truck and open the window and aim out the window so I don't attract so much attention. And you never know how long they're going to be there, so you got to have your camera ready. you got to have your settings right. Usually when I pull up to a spot and see one in a tree, I'll set my camera up on shutter priority with about a sixteen hundredth of a second camera picks f8 or 9 because I've got my long lens on and the 1.4 X extension so the fastest that will even go is f8 so usually it picks f8 and uh, then I just take a few still pictures of the eagle in the tree to make sure I've got something and then I just keep the camera aimed at him and I wait for him to dive out of the tree. My camera can shoot 10 frames a second, so the instant I see him getting ready to move, I start shooting. I'll shoot 15 or 20 while he leaves the tree. And then a lot of times I'll lose him out of the frame. And that'll be that for that little session. Sometimes I can pick them up again. Sometimes they'll swoop back. And I can pick them up again and get a few more. And then I just head on in the direction I'm going, hoping I'll see another eagle or maybe the same one will fly downstream or upstream and then swoop back. Downstream in the other direction where I'll pick them up again eventually 
But I don't like to just chase them back and forth because I don't feel good about that. That feels like harassing them. So I just go back and forth slowly and pick them up as I find them. And eventually it warms up outside and they start soaring higher and higher in the sky and pretty soon they're a mile or two off and there's no sense taking pictures of them then. Anyway, in the meantime, I'm cruising back down the canyon. There's a few fishermen showing up. Those guys are insane. Getting out there in that cold water and this bitter cold weather. I don't know what's going through their heads. Anyway, I will get back to you if I spot an eagle on the trip down. Well, I've been up and back, and I haven't seen a thing yet. So I'm going to make one more trip up to the bend. Hopefully, it's warming up a little bit, and maybe some of the critters will start coming out. But there's already too many fishermen here. The banks are lined with fishermen. There's a lot of them waiting in the water, and the eagles don't like that. The fishermen tend to like the same locations that the eagles do, that calm pools of water. So when there gets to be too many fishermen, the eagles call it hop. There's an eagle flying right over me. Things are looking up. He's probably going down to the footbridge where there's a nice calm spot, so maybe I'll find him down there. In the meantime, I'm going to drive up to the bend where they also like it and see if I can see any there. But we have our first sign of life. Things are looking up. Well, there's the osprey nest. Obviously nothing going on there yet. Well, hopefully in a few weeks we'll see some action up there. Well, I think I'll head down and check on the eagle's nest. There appears to be nothing going on in the canyon other than a bunch of fishermen tearing up and down at their trucks, stirring up the dust. That's certainly not going to be conducive to eagles settling in along the shorelines. So we'll get back to you in a minute at the eagle's nest. There's the eagle's nest. You can barely see Mother Eagle's head. She's been sitting down in that nest for quite a few days now, so I expect she's sitting on the eggs. I think they take like three weeks to hatch. I'm not sure about that. So other than that, there's not much going on there either. So it's looking like a bust for eagle photography today. I think maybe I'll head down to Woodland Park, see if I can find some place warmer, maybe go hiking or something. Possibly I could find some deer down there to photograph. It's been a tough couple of days. I think I've only taken one picture in two days. Well, I will get back to you when I get down to Woodland Park and we'll see what's going on there. Well, as long as I'm out and about, I figured I might as well check on Pike's Peak and see how the light's shining on the north face. And it looks like it's getting pretty bright. As we get closer and closer to the solstice, more and more light falls on the north side. And 
spring is on the way.